Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I will be showing you guys how I made these adorable polymer clay strawberry tags for you to use on your cork boards. What you will need is a couple of polymer clay colors. We're going to be using some red, green, your preference of pink, brown and white polymer clay. We're also going to be using a small dotting tool, a couple of thumb steel tacks, and make sure not to use plastic tacks as they will go into the oven and the plastic will probably melt, which is something that you definitely want to avoid. So the first thing that you need to do is grab a piece of red polymer clay and turn it into a circle of about the size of a gumball or cherry. Once you have your ball, make sure to make two more circles with the same width to make them look as close as possible. I made two red balls and one pink ball. Now, grab your first polymer clay ball and jam the metal tack inside of it. Make sure to cover the circle of the tack and just leave the pointy needle visible. After that, very carefully start shaping your strawberry because you wouldn't want to poke yourself with the needle, so be extra careful. Now, for the shape of the strawberry, I recommend starting with a triangle and then you can start smoothing out the edges and slowly start turning it into a strawberry. Also, make sure that your strawberry is flat on the back because that's the side that you're going to be placing on your cork board. Once you have the general shape of your strawberry, put that aside and grab your green polymer clay. Now grab a small amount of clay and break it into three even pieces and take one of those pieces and roll it into a cylinder. Then use your fingers to press it gently and shape it into a leaf by using the round tip of your fingertip. Once you have your leaf done, place it on top of your strawberry and make sure it's the right shape and size. If you're happy with it, then go ahead and grab the other two pieces of green polymer clay and go ahead and repeat this step until you get three leaves in total. Now that we have the leaves done, let's go ahead and start working on the stem. Grab another small piece of green polymer clay and hold it with two fingers, one on the top and one on the bottom. With your other hand, use your fingers to start twisting in the middle to give it a cylinder shape. Now hold it on the tip of your finger and gently press it sideways, making it look almost like a small little bean. Once you have that shape, place it in between the leaves and adjust it until it looks perfect. Now if you made the leaves too small, you might end up having some space in between the leaves on top of the strawberry and you can either leave it as is or you can always add a couple more leaves to just fill the space. I personally like to add leaves because strawberries naturally have a lot of leaves anyway, so I chose to fill mine, but you can do whatever you like with your strawberry. Okay, now that we have the strawberry and leaves done, it's time to add some detail into them. With a dotting tool, draw a line from the top to the bottom of each leaf. And yes, I know my nails are nasty, no need to tell me, I already know they look hideous and horrifying. <laughs> Anywho, after you're done with that, go ahead and draw two diagonal lines on each side, starting from the middle of the line and ending at the very edge of the leaf. For the strawberry, we're going to be using that same exact dotting tool, and we're going to go ahead and draw small lines to represent the seeds in the strawberry. Make sure to make them a little bit smaller as you make your way down, as the seeds also tend to get smaller in real strawberries. All right, that's it for our first strawberry. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing with our pink polymer clay ball. You can use whichever type of pink for your strawberry. I just chose pastel pink because I thought it might look cute on my cork board. So once again, we're going to be adding the tag in the middle, then shape the polymer clay into a strawberry while leaving the back flat. And then we're going to go ahead and make the leaves and the stem. Once you're done with the second strawberry, go ahead and grab your last polymer clay ball and make your third strawberry, repeating all of our previous steps. Now, pick one of your strawberries, preferably one that's the same color, and place it aside and grab your brown polymer clay as we, my friends, will be turning this strawberry into a dipped chocolate strawberry. Grab a small piece of brown polymer clay and flatten it with your fingers or by using a clay roller. Once you have a flat oval shape, place it on top of your strawberry, making sure you only cover the bottom half of it, as normal chocolate strawberries usually have the top visible. 
Remove any excess and use your fingertips to round it and wrap it around the strawberry, always making sure to leave the back flat. Once that's done, go ahead and grab some white polymer clay and roll a long strip of it. When rolling, always start from the center and then gently move outwards. Once you have a long piece that looks something like this, gently start placing it on top of the brown polymer clay as this will create a vanilla glaze effect for our chocolate. With all three strawberries done, go ahead and place them on a baking sheet and bake them according to the baking instructions of your clay. I normally do 275 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. Once they're done baking, go ahead and take them out very carefully as the tray will be hot and then just let them cool down for about 20 or 30 minutes. After that, your strawberry tacks are finally done. As you can see, they cooked very well with no cracks or loss of color and they work just as perfect as any other tacks do. You can use them to decorate your cork board and to hang notes or pictures or even some cute keychains as well. If you decided to make these and want to share your pictures with me, go ahead and tag me on Instagram or Twitter as I would love to see how they came out. But thank you so much for watching guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.